All right, I've been doing some work with OpenVC virtualization. Uh, I've just installed uh, Cent OS, uh, picked the x86 64-bit network version uh, over here, and go ahead and SSH over there. I've already set up the host names in my Etsy host file just for the local stuff. Okay, and that gets us um, onto the box that has the sent OS. Um, we can do a uname dash a, and there we go. And on the OpenVZ site, um, you go to the uh, in a quick start. And they've done a really good job here. Um, so we're just really cut and paste what they've got on their wiki here. Copy. Now, one of the things that they're talking about here is the whether you're running um, Red Hat um, or or not. Um, so the um, here we go, Red Hat release six. Uh, they're definitely saying use the VZ kernel instead of the OVZ. So what we want to do is yum install. VC kernel dot x eighty six Yum's doing its thing. Now one of the things this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and modify your, your Grub configuration, especially if you install the Cent OS 6. Um, and they list that down here. Here we go. Um, they go ahead and tell you that it's, it's configured so you don't have to worry about this step here. Uh, you do need to do some configuration. on the uh, syscontrol file. Let's just slide this over here to the side a little bit better. Actually, the SE Linux thing first. Need to disable this. PV4, we're going to turn on forwarding. I don't have IPv6 enabled, so I'm not going to worry about that. 
proxy ARP. We're going to add that because I don't remember that being in here. And we need to change the sysrec to 1. And we'll go ahead and copy these two. Write those out. And on the last machine I installed, um, it went ahead and, and did go ahead and modify the boot sequence, so I don't have to, to actually select it like this document is saying. Should just be able to do a reboot. Give it a few moments. Okay, so we got back in uh, after the reboot, um, and that's a good thing. I tried um, an earlier version of this, I tried the um, Fedora 18, and uh, that I couldn't get it working there. Um, and I tried the 5.9 version of CentOS and I got a kernel panic. So this is uh, 6.3 of the CentOS that I'm using. Oops. Actually, it, it says do this, um, so you may have to, but I didn't have any troubles. I went ahead and did this and it figured it out. It knew that I was running the x64 stuff. Yes. And as you can see from the um, version that's installing here, it figured it out and knew which, which one I needed. Okay, and here's the acid test. This should start. Okay, it did. Now here's something about this. They, they've got a number of uh, OS templates already uh, pre-configured, which are really nice. And then you can go here and download them. Uh, and you simply copy them into this directory. Um, so I've already got one of them on my my Mac here, and um, so if I open another window here, let's make this a little bit bigger. SCP sent. There we go. And when you download it, um, the thing with this website here is saying it is don't um, don't uh, un unzip them, leave them leave them compressed. Let's just say root at cluster two. Copy. Paste. Okay, so now that's in place. It's 11 o'clock. And let's see here. Should be a link on here on um, basic operations. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create our first container. Um, Uh, 
I've got a little bit of a numbering scheme that I'm using here. Uh, so instead of doing exactly the way they have, I'm going to say um, one, two, two, because of the IP address I've assigned this box. And then I need to do an OS template. And that would be the one we just copied. And look at look at me. I'm uh, actually on the wrong uh, wrong window. And we just picked the the name. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Right there. And this is going to take a little bit of time because what it's doing is it's creating a two gigabyte file that it's going to use for the file system um, for this VM or VPS if you want to call it that. Okay, good, that was created. Uh, so now we want to give it an IP address. And that's where I'm making things match up where I've named the, um, the instance the same thing as the IP address that I'm assigning it. Just to so cut down the confusion. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing for the name server. start it. Whoops. Okay, start container in progress. And then we just simply enter this command to get into it from our host computer. Twenty-two, and there we are. We're actually now. It didn't change the little note here. It didn't change the host name. Uh, that would be some more configuration that I need to do. But it is definitely. Um, let's see. Let me take a look at the. Um, the users here we have Apache and RPC and SSHD as the last three lines. If we exit out of here, um, exited right here, and then we take a look at the same password. Uh, you can see there's there's different. We're dealing with two different password files, so that's uh, pretty much it. And then uh, depending on how much memory and CPU you've got on your box, just uh, repeat as necessary to uh, to start these up. Um, of course, I set all this stuff up on an internal network, but uh, so the normal internet uh, would be a little bit differently. Perhaps I'll do a, uh, a video on how to configure them for that a little bit later.